Sorushka now to send this one away following the score. Now the return. Here comes Randall Cobb. The Packers offense now, they get ready to head back on the field. And on the last go around, they really couldn't get anything going. They had to punt from deep inside their own territory, which means they're gonna lose the field position battle as a general rule. What they're looking for now is a little more consistency, move the ball at least a few times on offense, get a couple of first downs, and hopefully flip the field. Yeah, just something to build off of. That's what they're looking for here. Play fake here on first down. And he'll be hit from behind and taken down. Mike Bennett in there to drop him. And it'll be a loss of about eight. Sometimes I watch games and wonder why they use play fakes on certain passing situations because it's not going to fool anyone. I don't know if that was the case here, but the end result was the same. No one fooled. The quarterback was hit. Looking to throw. That is incomplete. I know tight ends love this route because a lot of times they'll fake a block first and get a little bit of space and then come across the middle because in their mind, they're thinking catch the ball and then drop the hammer on the little guys in the secondary. Unable to drop the hammer, he just dropped the pass. Out of the gun now on third down. And he's going to be intercepted a third time. It's the Pro Bowl quarterback, Richard Sherman. And his guys are going to get the football at the 28-yard line. So holding by the offense and maybe now got to shift up what you want to do on the playbook. Yeah, definitely. Change what you're doing in the playbook, but boy, the advantage shifts to the guys on defense, doesn't it? Longer yardage situations, they often become bolder. On play action, they'll throw. And he's going to go down. He backed up into the end zone, and this is going to back now in Seattle, Washington. A lot of happy faces in the crowd at this point as their guys have a big lead here to start quarter number four. Now it's Lockett. Look at the spin. Balance. Spinning again. Oh, that's sweet. What an effort. Partner, when I was in college, we used to have these things called game maxims that we did before every game. One of them said, press the kicking game. For here's where the breaks are made. It's the area of hidden yardage. How about that return? Flipping the field, taking it past the 50, and getting things set up to start the series. Throwing now, Wilson on first down. It's caught on the left side by Baldwin. The completion good for three, and it's second down. The goal of a wide receiver screen is get enough blockers in front to create a wall and let him pick his spot to run the football. How about the defense there swarming to it and not allowing that to happen? Did not let him get downfield. Out to the flat. That's complete to his running back. And he was able to shed the tackle, but the reserves come in for the stop. It'll be a gain of... Six, and that'll make it third and one. So just one yard to go here on third down. All right, I'm going to show my age here a little bit. We used to talk about running backs catching the ball as safety backs. Nowadays, they're a big part of the passing offense. Quit acting like you. Wilson hit. It's loose. It's out. Fumble. And the Packers pick it up. When I see a play like that, I come back to risk reward. I don't know about you, but is it worth it at that point, whatever you're going to pick up? They either take the hit, and in this case, lose the football. Well, should have gone down. I mean, hindsight's always 20-20, but that's the safe play. You're exactly right. Hindsight's really never wrong, is it? Because you can analyze it, but I think ultimately you've got to look at it as a first option, taking care of the ball, getting what you can, and that's it. Don't about anymore. 
So second and ten here. It's a five receiver set. Three to the left, two to the right. And second and ten, he'll look. And the Seahawks defense gets to him and they bring him down. They bring the safety on the blitz and he busts through to drop him for an eight yard loss. Okay, you know my bias is about to come out here. A lot of people think that the offense is just moving in the wrong direction. I'd say they're moving in the right direction because the defense is pushing them back. Former defensive guy. Now, as a quarterback third and long, you really got to rally the troops here, don't you? Yeah, you do in a big way. And what else do you have to look out for? More pressure coming at you because it seems to be working pretty well. Second down, sacked by the defense. What type of pressure will they bring here on third? We'll see. Back to throw here. And incomplete. He had nowhere to throw, so he just tossed it away. But that brings up fourth. Here's Tim Maste now. As the drive goes backwards, so he's on to punt it away. Partner, how many times have you heard it? Pressure creates diamonds, right? <laughs> but it also bursts pipes. And on that one, that's what they got. They got after him, and he was fortunate just to get rid of it. Yeah, he just had to chuck it away. Slips past him. Where'd he go? A very good return there. Give him an even 20 yards. And out will come the offense as they take over. The Seattle now ready to march out of the field. And last time, the fumble, the turnover. Now they still have the lead, but I don't think coaches care. The turnovers will bother them no matter what the scoreboard says. And that's the relief that you still have the lead. The coaches look at what if and what it should be. Turning the ball over when they get a chance to score more points and increase the lead. That's what's going to affect them. And they're also thinking to future weeks, maybe when the game's closer, right? No doubt about it. You want to clean up everything. Let's just be honest about it. They want everything to be perfect at all times. They don't want to give up anything that's going to hurt their team. He's going to leave this for his running back. It's complete. Give him nine on the play, and it'll be second and about a yard to go for the first. I think the best offenses love to give the ball to their running backs in open space because they have the ability to make people miss. And they also have the ability to run over people. And if you do that throughout the game, after a while, they might just run through some of those tackles and go a long way. Well, we saw him shed a nice tackle on that play. It's always tough for the guys throwing the football when they think they've got a completion and the ball's almost there, and then someone sneaks a hand or two in and bats it away. On third and one, Wilson buying time to his left. He may try and run for this. It's a seven-yard gain there, and it's good enough to move the chains. You and I both know most coaches are really fearful about their quarterbacks running with the ball. They don't want him to take that big hit. I don't think they worry about that with Russell Wilson. He's so smart in what he does, and we just saw it there on that scramble. Now a handoff looking right. Oh, a little 360. Oh, <laughs> and he will score. Touchdown, Seattle. A great effort there. His second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Seahawks add on to their lead. And he certainly played a pivotal role with those two TDs and why they're up on the scoreboard right now. Well, someone's all about winning, aren't they? Because he's not worried about the number. Sure, it's great to have two touchdowns. But the bottom line is what he's doing is contributing to their lead. He wants to continue to do so. And he's been a busy man. Five for five now as he knocks another one through to extend the lead. The drive summary that time, five plays. And the Seahawks capping it off with a touchdown. Hausch get out to send this one away following the score. This fielded a few yards into the end zone. And he'll get across the 20 before he's brought down at about the 23-yard line. The Packers offense now heading back out onto the field. They're down big here late. I, I don't know. You just one last drive here for pride. Some people like to do that. I remember playing for a guy once we were down huge. And someone said, Coach, what do you want to call? He just waved a hand like, who cares? Let's Make get out of here and do something some <laughs> other time. But some teams like to do something at the end to feel a little bit better yeah. as, they continue to, as they continue to move forward. Yeah, probably just want to put this one behind them. 
Now he'll look to throw here on second and 10. He's going to flip that out to the flat. It's complete. And down he goes, but he takes it up to the 40. They give him 17 yards that time as that'll move the chains. And the offense lining up first and 10. We can talk all we want about football being a game of strength and brawn. It's also a game of mismatches, and they're trying to create one there, getting it to their back out of the backfield to make a bigger play. As we often say, get it to him in space, let him use his leg. Yeah, if he can get a matchup against a linebacker or maybe a defensive end dropping out in a zone blitz, he's going to win that battle just about every time. Not too many things get to a quarterback of this magnitude, but I think it's safe to say that pressure can get to any quarterback. Now he's obviously a great franchise quarterback, but felt the pressure, threw it incomplete. Back to throw now on second and 10. And boy, that one drops incomplete, but if he was hit a fraction sooner, it may have been a fumble. It's a tried and true formula, and I don't think it'll change for as long as we play football. If someone's trying to throw the ball, and you can put pressure on them and make it tough, that's only going to help your defense. Yeah, he's since being hurried. He got rid of it before taking the hit, but incomplete. They're going to look to throw. And he's going to be intercepted a third time. A great read, and it's picked off. And they will set up shop at their own 46-yard line. Well, this defensive pressure has been constant all game long. The pass rush, the coverage, they've all been excellent. And now they'll tack on an interception here as this one continues to slip just further and further out of hand. And he's got room. Are you kidding me? <laughs> and he's brought down. 17 yards on the pickup there, and the drive will continue. Well, I'd say that run's pretty emblematic of what we've seen all day long, no matter what they've done on offense. This offensive line has controlled the line of scrimmage, giving them time to throw it, run it, do whatever they wanted. That's why there are points up on the... Hey, 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 we got three down, three down. 